Hello, everyone, and welcome to Code Busting. I am your host, Code Marvelous, and today I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Sanjay. Hello! And uh, today, we are going to be uh, doing something a little different. Isn't, isn't that right, Sanjay? A little different. Um, it's going to be like, I think normally we you, we don't have like, we have some amount of punk rock in our on our stream, but I think today we're going to have... Like maximum level punk rock? Yeah. I don't think there's going to be possibly any more punk rock. That's really exciting. Um, That's an exciting yeah. amount of punk rock that we're going to yeah. have. Yeah. Now, we're going to be total posers here because... Um, well, not total posers, but I don't think we are maximally punk rock. No. The title of this episode is actually called Betamax. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, thought I like that. that. Was, I thought that was pretty clever. Um, um, one convention we have in our local meta is that you can only actually call yourself maximum punk rock if you're not playing Levy, because then you're really, you know. Uh, but I don't think that's necessarily yeah, something we need to do. I don't think, I don't think that's, that's, that's something we should do. Hey, so, what should we spend our restricted slot on? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that we should probably go ahead and get two levies in there. Yeah. Levy seems like a really strong card for people who want to, uh, you know. Win, not, not lose. Run out their deck. Yeah. Um, I should give a shout out to uh, my friend Doug, your friend of mine, uh, Doug, who in the cat most in like the second cash refresh tournament, mm -hmm. since levy is not accessible to max. Played a 63 card max deck, uh, just so he wouldn't run out of cards. That's something. Um, but we don't have to do that because we can play levy. Yeah. Um, so I'm not. It's been a while since I played a max deck. I really like max. It's great getting a free card at the beginning of your turn, and sometimes even more value than that. Um, but I'm a little rusty on like what we should be doing as fundamentals. So I think we should get a, a couple of Amakuas in there. Okay. Yeah. 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 And yeah. And probably like. Have a, a vaguely like reggae type, just like we're gonna run a lot. We're gonna have okay economy, um, yeah. and just get in there and multi-access stuff. Um, what is our multi-access? Um, do we want it to be um, some cool events? Do we want to? I guess one cool thing about events is that we're gonna find them and we can have like same old thing to recur them. Yeah, I mean uh, it, it's tough because. You know, now it's worth noting if we're going to do max, we have to just keep in mind that like some, some decks were like just going to lose against. Some Wayland subsidiaries might give us a little bit of trouble. Yeah, like there's a handful of, there's a handful of uh, decks that like we will, we will just lose to. Yeah. Um, and I, are you thinking of something besides, like, Rig Shooter Scorpios? No, it's it's Rig Shooter Scorpios. Okay. I've heard um, some Max players say that the matchup is less bad than people imagine. Um, like, it's still bad, but it's less bad because, you know, it's just that it's weird. Because, like, sometimes you just randomly lose. Um, but if that doesn't happen, it's kind of the same thing versus anybody else. Yeah. Um, let's get yeah. A, let's get a makers in there. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's get um, a legwork in there. Yeah. Let's get a femme fatale in there. I love it. Let's get maybe a retrieval run or two. Um Yeah, I love retrieval run and max. Probably oh. some number of garbage conspiracy breakers. Yeah, and the one good one. Yeah. I did see um, some graffiti in Philadelphia um, this weekend uh, asking people to look up MK Ultra. Um, so that was fun. I have a strange feeling that that it was not Netrunner related. No, because I mean, you'd probably ask people to look up a more exciting killer, right? Like Fairy. Um, yeah, we got our money sorted. Um, yeah, our... yeah, I mean, ba ba basic basic money's good. Like money's good in Netrunner. I, I yeah. I find. I should probably get like the most basic of money cards in there. I guess so. Yeah. Um, or max, we want to run a lot. Dirty Laundry is probably good. Yeah, I think that's fine, right? Yeah. Um, do we want to do we put want, in like, any... Imps in, it, imps in there? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Um, oh, Thomas, no, I didn't suggest political graffiti. I was just talking about some political graffiti um, that I saw in Philadelphia. Easy mistake uh, to make. Yeah, uh, political graffiti. 
Oh man, I can't even get myself excited about that card. But I you want, know, card. I, I want three currents. You know what card I can get myself excited about? Is um, it? Is it? What? What was that? Immolation script. Immolation script. Ooh. I don't know. Let's put a one of that. Yeah, why not? Uh, I um, want. I want. Consider I want turntable. Oh sure, yeah, that's a fun uh, console. Um, do we want some number of? Um, do we want a single knifed? I mean, we could. Yeah, let's do it. Then we can like kill some. Kakugos that somebody paid for to break. Well, are we going to do the Geist and Max convention of having higher numbers of uh, events or uh, higher card counts? How do you mean? Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to do that, right? Yeah, because we need some sort of kill protection as well. Uh, that's true. What kind of what kind of kill protection does does Max usually run? I mean, we have I've had worse, I guess. That's sort of kill protection. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do we need um let's get yeah, what let's get a knife and a spoon in there at least. Yeah. Ooh, some tea. Let's get a uh actually I would like to get two knifed and two spooned in there. My wife drew a little um credit token or credit cost on my thing, but it's an S. So it's like Cost me amounts of credits. That's great. Um, hmm. Sorry, I was distracted by this lovely mint tea that I was just handed. Oh, James Mary suggesting uh, maybe we could consider a uh, bug up or a wanted destruction. There's plenty of love for those. Whether we'll find the slots for them, uh, who knows? I certainly love wa a wanted destruction. Uh, it's like a, a weird, a, like a bad. It's like a pretty cool card against CI. Yeah, uh, as a disruption piece. Um, I don't know. We have four. We have forty-seven cards already, so we. Um, I, I feel know. like because of the plan we're on, there are certain things that we need to have. Like we have to have the ability to destroy ice. Yeah. Um. Huh. Screw it. We don't need these. Yeah. Uh, I think we need three st uh, uh, stim dealers. Stim, yeah, stim dealers. Oh. Yeah, no <laughs> stim hacks. Um, do we want to get? It's so weird because you like you never want to do like a one of of anything in max. Do you know what I mean? I guess so. I feel like one ofs are kind of cool if they're events because you do have some amount of same old things to get them back. Yeah. Um, I know that I know it's less exciting now that Deja Vu is gone. We could be a real monster and put a one of showing off in there. That sounds fun. Let's do it. I think I think um, given that you know we're just having fun on stream and we're just trying to get a feel for Max. I think if we put in a one spicy one of, ultimately we'll just get to experience it and it'll be you know it'll be fun and it won't be a big deal. Well, if we're gonna uh, just do a one of, then I would say. Maybe we cut legwork and do wanton instead. Then we can redistribute oh, we that influence somewhere else. Yeah, we could. We could play rebirth. I don't um, know if we want that. Yeah. Um, um. Alternatively, we could cut a turning wheel and play um. Um, weird legwork. Which is like wor worse legwork. Yeah, let's get let's get one showing off in there. Okay, yeah, I love it. I have a theory that it'll be better than we think. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, Cow Utopia is uh, describing my let's do it typical Sanjay attitude in a positive way, so I feel I'm, I'm happy about it. All right, so now we're on the playtime screen. I apologize, um, Sanjay. Real quick, I'm going to have to change what screen you're able to see. Because now I'm doing, like, the scene transitions things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right, so I am looking at your Gmail, but no one else can see it, hopefully. Um, and I'm not – and resolution is terrible, so I'm not getting any information. Um, oh, incidentally, I have uh, three um, pieces of chocolate uh, – candy here sponsored by Leftover Halloween Candy. And every time we win a game, I'm going to eat one. Cool. 
Sounds rad. That's as punk rock as I get. All right, I think we're good. All right. Uh... Yeah, we can if we can steal even a single agenda that has been Wampoa from showing off. Um, I'll eat I'll eat a piece of candy just for that. You eat a piece oh, of candy. Oh, hey, Mike. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so let's find ourselves a game. Let me get the tunes on. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We're not playing murder. Oh, I should probably load the deck. Man, what am I oh, doing? Yeah, yeah. What am I doing today? I don't know. Incidentally, um, if you have some time, uh, you, the audience, not you, Dan. Um, Dan had a very fun uh, Steve deck that he was playing on stream this morning. Um, and you can check it, check that out. Um, yeah, you can yeah. see it right there. Doesn't that look cool? What, my Danny Manchester deck? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh no, James Mary with the negativity in the stream. Uh, some, some atypical, some uncharacteristic ne negativity from James here. Here, I have to get back to the actual stream. I need like three screens. I don't have enough screens because of the screen, the call sharing that I have to do. Oh yeah. Uh... So for, yeah, so for anybody that's watching, um, that is appreciating my Ooh. specific presence on here. Oh, that's an interesting hand against Titan. Yeah, it's I a think, really weird hand. Against I think Titan. this is okay. I'd keep it. Yeah. Yeah, because the Amakua um, early is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little bit of work to set up, but if they go super aggressive rushy, like we'll be able to set it up no problem. And let's say they are going super aggressive rushy. Oh, and they're not even super aggressively getting out a... I almost want to like put down the imp and the... But then we'd have no money. That's bad. Yeah. All right. So... Uh, what went into the bin? Okay. Um, do we want to just see what it is to force the ice res yeah why not yeah i mean we're might we're be an enigma we're... which is a little bit oh no that's, oh, that's perfect that's great i'm that's the incredible. degree to which i'm okay with that is okay yeah all right um so let's go ahead and drop that let's hit hq because we know they're not going to purge yeah that's incredible actually oh that's no it. they are going to purge let's trash it no nah. oh no that's hilarious <laughs> that was the worst Oh, the we got worst. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna do the hubris. All right, so let's get the same old thing down before anything weird happens. Um, let's gain some credit so we can. Yeah, the neat thing is, is once we can break this firewall, it's gone. Oh well, yeah, we can kill it. That's great. Um, they're not. Gonna, are they keeping it around? Oh, I hope I hope they go greedy on this. This would be so good. How greedy are they gonna be? I don't know. Seems like they're going to be pretty greedy. Let's just fire right. some tokens. Oh, let's trash the imp when we do that. Yeah. Good call. Oh, I got to... Do I... Oh, is there... Did they change the ruling? Do I not no, get no, it? They didn't... No, they didn't change the ruling. It's just... You have to yeah. do it yourself. Yeah. Hopefully our opponent is familiar with this weird ruling. Um... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's unintuitive, but I mean, you know, who am I to say that? So they're not going to, the greed, not gonna... the greed is so real. Oh, they put the little cyber decks on there and spicy. All right. Well, let's, let's look into another server. So there's also the possibility that this is not a Marimachi. We're not quite strong enough. Spend your money. Oh yeah. It tastes good. That's um... pretty good. Um, let's get some credits and lose a hack to this. I don't know. Okay, Levy in the bin. Is this like an all barrier deck that we're seeing? Yeah, I guess us getting a bunch of Amakua tokens is a little sketchy when they have a cyber deck right there to take them away again. Uh, so we need to be conscious of that. Um, like so maybe far, we should even... right, but so far we also haven't seen any ice with teeth. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. But um, I would say, at the very, very least, like we might want to put a hack to this now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or we can just, like, if we run archives after the cyberdex is trashed, 
can't we just always get it afterwards? Yeah, but we'd only get one token that way. But it's not terrible to do yeah, that. Yeah, but we were only getting one token per run. Oh, right, because it would keep purging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get a Hacktivist down. This is what we get for not having our spicy speculative include the um, archives interface. That is, that's something we could definitely discuss. Yeah. That's certainly not a bad choice in uh, Max. I mean, I think there's a bunch of cards. Ooh. Nice. Okay, things are getting, things are getting spoopy around here. Um, we Did we need... lose anything good? We, nice still, we, we still don't have a, we just still don't have a proper breaker. Yeah, we just find a paperclip and we're in, that's sort of a proper breaker. It's like a proper breaker for weirdos. A proper breaker for weirdos. All right, I'm just pitching a bunch of shit we don't need. Yeah, we can ret run that fem if we throw in the trash. But it's a little tempting. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're on some kind of... Um... I don't think we're going to have the time to use both of the... Eh, no, no. no. Um, Probably the turntable, actually. Uh, Pretty... Yeah, the turntable could be good by taking it, an atlas with a token on it, but... Um... We're, in a yeah. very, we're in a very weird place right now. Yeah, I mean, if we get a paperclip on board, we're, like, sort of in business? Is that true? No, I think we're... Well, the game might be over right now. Yeah, we're. I think we're blown out. Yeah. Yeah, because they can go get get a hostile, and I don't think we can stop them. Yep, so now we just lose. Um, let's yeah, go check so let's, archives. Yeah, maybe there's an agenda. Maybe there's a government takeover in there. Hey, we scored some agendas. Uh, oh no, we scored an agenda this turn. You don't get a counter for that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, at least we didn't get shut out this game. You want to kill some ice? In spite? Not like that. That was not bad. Like we were, we were in it. Here, let's get another agenda. Nope. Ah. Ooh, they. Well, they do have uh, things. So we just got blown out. Yeah, we were just a little too slow. Um, if we had gotten that paper clip a little earlier, we would have been in better shape. Um, if we hadn't gotten unlucky with the imp. Um. I mean, I think our opponent played very well, um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't feel bad about the deck based on that. Do you? No. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I certainly think Atlas games are more fun when they're a little bit lower stakes, when it's like you don't have prestige on the line. Um, oh, there's a note here. Oh, wow. There's a little thing that says Netrunner. Huh? On my teeth. My wife added this. Oh, cute. Yeah. It's branded content. <laughs> um, if we ever have some downtime, I also have my copy of Monitor uh, featuring Max. Uh, she calls our protagonist a loser. Very rude. Seems uh, appropriate. All right, well, this is going to happen every once in a while. We'll be fine. Um, actually, not a bad uh, starting hand for this matchup, right? Yeah, because we're starting with two of our breakers in hand. Yeah, I love it. Also, we sort of have, like, an, a permanent, like, employee strike on them if, they're, if they want their... Like, we throw two cards and, like, you want one of these, and then they can't get us later. I mean, they're probably on Hunter Seeker or something like that, but so we're, we're maybe in trouble. Fem got flipped. Okay, yeah, do they this, want... is, this is very good. Yeah, do they want to take the Fem? Uh, they did not do it. Yeah. Like, that's, okay, that's, a, that's the thing about things like Scorpios. Like, yeah. If, if it's like a, a crucial turn, I'll do it. But like the day-to-day -day like triggering of their abilities, that is like not 
uh, something that I need to remind them of, especially if it's something yeah, that yeah, needs yeah. to happen every turn. Yeah, agreed. I love the Amakua here, because if we can um, get into their uh, remotes with, you know, a Faco Breaker that they can kill, that'd be great. Um, I don't know what we want to do here. Um, Vicky, I can get you the um, the link to the GitHub thing that my friend Thomas made. I just don't have it in the show notes for this particular episode. Oh, yeah. Thomas. Um, go ahead. Sorry. No, you go ahead. All right. So, do we just, like, so, get two counters and then check it? Yeah, I think, yeah. We'll get two counters and then we're, we, uh, have, we're out of Titanium range. Yeah, and, that, that was my thought as well. We need to make sure yeah. that we have the ability to deal with Titanium. Yeah, and if they hunt for Hunter Seeker, this... Uh, Oh, uh, no. All right, well, that's going to happen every once in a while. All right, well, we might as well check HQ while we're here. Yeah, well, we've got a strong turtle. Turtles is turtles is good, man. So we've seen two... Um... I mean, but that's not even, like, the end of the world. Like, they are so broke. Ooh, that's good. Good for them. Ah, uh, oh, I want that turntable. Let's see if we can find another one. Because that turntable is like the spice of life. Yeah. All right, let's check HQ. Because if yeah, we can turntable that Atlas, that feels delicious. That'd be rude. We might need to apologize. I don't know if we apologize ever. Well, that's no kind of attitude to walk through life with. Well, I mean in the context <laughs> of maximum punk rock. Yeah. Um, so they're Social doing... cues... Uh, Sanjay are uh, conditional. Uh, so maybe let's. I think we should probably check the remote, but let's check other servers too in case that's a cybernet. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at R and D. All right, so that's a fast track. Not as important since they have two little fast tracks in hand. Boo! Hey, we did it. Um. I mean, they're going to Hunter Seeker that. That's going to be That's what fine. happens. That's fine. We couldn't have avoided that. And honestly, getting um, a less important breaker Hunter Seeker is nice. All right. We want to run into... Um... Oh, that's great. Yeah. I, I like just want to get money and get ready to pressure all centrals. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we can probably... I guess they're probably just on barriers. Yeah, if they're just on barriers, then Immolation Script is going to be real good. Yeah, it'll at least not be bad. Yeah, it will, it'll, it'll be pretty good. Okay. So we got Levy in the bin. Which we gotta hold on to forever now. Oh, the love in our hand, yeah. Let's check HQ. Love it. They're very low on cash. I would love a turning wheel right now. An ice wall. Oh, okay. I guess this is like really showing off what the um, value of that bow credit is, right? Yeah. But draws are also really good, and that's what we... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, so it's not just... Whoa! All right, well, that's our turn, huh? Yeah. But they've still got no money. Yeah, which is good for us. So I'm surprised that they're not fast advancing anything or getting... I don't know. Um, Let's go into HQ. Yeah, I love that. Let's check that there. I I have to say, like, unlike some... Yeah, we will trash that. Yep. Unlike some seasoned pilots like Stephen Ball and people like that, like, ah... Uh, these max decks are kind of a mystery for me. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Oh yeah, we'll get rid of that one too. That was a good turn. Yeah. There's not a rebirth in our deck. We have um, Shaper Rebirth, which you just rebirth back into Max for three influence. Okay, I don't know how much value Hacktivus is going to have. We can uh, knife that. Uh, I, I kind of want to. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead that. and do that. And then if they put another one out, we can Immolation Script. I mean, that's low value to... Alright, well, we might as well run in and get some more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Steal as many agendas as we can while we can. Like, get them good, as they say. Best defense. Alright. Alright. If that's what you're into. Yeah, I, I think uh, Rebirth is a really interesting card in Max. It's not, like, very standard in Max builds. Um, like, when I've tinkered around with Max, I've played it, but I don't know if that's correct, right? Um, right. So they so they have an Atlas, so they can definitely go get a Hunter Seeker if they want. Yeah, which is exactly what they're going to do. Yeah. And so now we're one... Um, we're one paperclip down. Yeah, we're one paperclip away. We still have our um, other turtle... All right, so let's see if we can draw into the other paperclip. Oh, or that's good. That. Um, do we want a levy here before an arc lockdown comes through? Yeah, we could. I kind of like to want to run arc. No, that's fine. Yeah, I like it. Um, because we kind of need a money reset. Yeah, we could run. Archives to get a counter, because that's probably the Ice Wall on, um... Oh, that's an Ice Wall. Huh. So, we've got our other Clippy in hand, which is precious to us. Yeah. I want to see them blind Salem's us. That'd be dope. Uh... Like, so we've got to, we got to just let him have this one, right? Yeah, I think we have to because we can't afford to lose paperclip. Yeah. So what we really need to do, if we can, is get through. Is get get in a steal an agenda with the other Amakua, and hope to. Yeah, like why don't we try running R and D? Since we have the Black Orchestra. Another best defense. Um, Maybe an HQ? Ooh. I love that. I was reasonably sure that that was the other ice wall. I thought it was, yeah. I got a little nervous when we saw the other ice wall. All right. Um, I guess just gain a buck. Yeah. We're next turn, a maybe. Weird place. I think next turn I want to put down the imp. Yeah, run HQ maybe. I really want to get the other turntable in our hands. Um, if we can get the other turntable, I think we go for this agenda. Right? Yeah. Uh, which we can't either time. Um, okay, so we kind of need to go get this, right? Because they have the atlas, so they can... Yeah, so... But if we get this, they can take our last table clip? Yeah, That's so... A tough I, situation. Yeah, I think we gotta go for it. Yeah. And then we'll spoon R&D and try to get a couple cards. That's a great idea. Okay, um... And we can break with Amakua. We don't need to break with, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, Amakua. I guess, theoretically, we could have run into HQ. Oh, oh hey. man. Oh, 
Oh, that would have been too good, I guess. Um, yeah. So that's not bad. They can only destroy one of our two um, last hopes. I mean, they gotta go get it, right? I feel like they have to, right? Like, if they don't... I mean, they do have a decent, like, rush situation going on right now. <coughs> Why you gotta always be taking my clippy? All right. Yeah, so they're, we're in tough shape, because if they, um... Okay. All right. Because so now they'll purge, and then we're in bad shape. Yeah. Um, um, we could run R&D and make them prove that they have a barrier there. That's not terrible. They don't. Hey. That's very interesting. All right, things are getting really weird. Yeah. Um, we have enough credits to put down an imp, and no, we don't have credits. We have enough. We could, on the next turn, put down and click for some credits, put down an imp and dirty laundry into HQ. That seems kind of fun. So they're gonna fast track. Huh? Because they Here's can just fair. they can just try to windmill. Yeah, and I like that a lot. Um. I suppose if they, we don't really have the credits to, um, ooh, we drew fem. So do we have, can we get that high? I don't think we can, right? I don't think we can. All right, so let's just go into, should we just go into HQ? I mean, we could. I mean, well, let's dirty laundry into HQ, right? We can do both. So we're going to have um, one more turn to try and get this last attack up, um, which is not bad. Um, assuming they have a hostile. And they definitely have a hostile. We have a hostile in our square. That we didn't take the one hostile. Yeah. Um, well, they're not tight. They're not. Well, I guess they're going for the Atlas counter. Yeah, and they absolutely should. Okay. Um, do you want to go R and D, see two cards, try to close the game? Since we don't have a lot else going on, we could consider running into to HQ two times to see three cards. That's sort of. I think uh, I think there's no agenda in HQ. Oh, you oh oh I get what you're saying. No, just, no, just bang your head into HQ. Yeah. And then going in. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you should do that a lot. Like, I think it's like sort of a a doofy play to make. But, um... I mean, we're on, like, the penultimate turn here. Yeah, I guess, actually, maybe a better play would have been to run into HQ breaking and then getting to Amakua to tokens and then getting through Hordum for one. So that, would, so that would have cost two more credits. Yeah, that would have been better, actually. That's interesting. So if we had, instead of what we did, um, run into HQ, sure. we could have gotten two Amakua tokens. Oh, do we have one? Oh, did we not reset the counters? Oh, uh, OK. Cool. All right, well, that's fine. I think that's right. Good on them. That that was our mistake. All right. So I wanted to see two. We gotta. This is our out. Luckily, yeah. we're we're pretty sure there's nothing in their hand, and there isn't a ton of deck left. Yeah. Luckily, we're really lucky. We're not oh, that no, lucky not, though. No, not lucky enough. So next turn we can run HQ, um, which will get us a token and more importantly a Typhoon uh, turtle counter. 
and that'll let us hit R and D. Um, that's actually going to be cheaper than um, breaking the Black Orchestra. Yep. Plus, it'll get us a. Um... So we'll be able to Working see. Hard for the money. Yeah. So they have some weird options here. Um... Now, it is also theoretically possible that they only have one hostile in their deck. Um, I don't know if their agenda suite would probably be for that. I, I feel doubt, like decks, I really doubt that. I feel like decks like this probably are on two hostile, just because they're on... What's their agenda suite, probably? Let's think. Well, um, it, it, three Oak Town. It's Three Oak Town, Three it's, Atlas. Oh, uh, good call on Three their hostile, Three Standoff. Okay. Uh, let's run HQ. Yeah, I love it. So that's probably Tythonium, because we just saw a Tythonium on R&D. That's kind of spooky. Um, so I don't know what we do about that. You know what we can do about that? We can... Um... Well, what's in the trash? Nothing good. No, but we can discard the Femme and have set up a, a tree for run play. Is that good? Not really. Uh, well, Tithonium is just strength five, right? Yeah, so we can run into HQ, get a, get a turtle counter. Ooh, I think we're locked out now, aren't we? No, because uh, we can still levy. What does levying do? Um, I don't know. Let's us weep. Yeah, yeah. No, I think we're 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 properly locked out now. Um, I don't think we have any other options. Well, let's at least force the Tithonium res. Yeah, that's true. Let's make them lose some credits. Alright, fire away, fire away. Blah, 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 blah. I know so that's not the we, we, we talked that. about going into this matchup, but that there was literally one agent, like one corp that it is like miserable to play against. Yeah, I mean, there's it's probably of all the Wayland subsidiaries the most difficult matchup per max. Uh, yeah. Fun trivia fact that I'm alluding to: um, Wayland's Scorpios uh, is the only Wayland subsidiary. Um, every other Wayland. Uh, card. No, actually, no other corporation in the game has that um, I, um, subtype. Isn't that weird? I think it's pretty weird. At least we have money now. Yeah, I think the game is right over. Um, hopefully they will see that and put us out of our misery. Well, they have no money. Yeah, they have no money. So they're they're trying to win this game as fast as they can, but um things, uh, are, things are very weird for us right now. I mean, I don't think they I don't think they're weird for us, but like we we just cannot win, right? We all servers are locked out. Where's your sense of adventure? If we had rebirth, we could rebirth into null and get get busy. No, we lost everything. We lost our honor too. Nice. Nice. Oh, audacity, spicy, nice. So far, it's not going great. No, it's going fine. Yeah, no. Um, that was an awkward matchup. Um, yeah. Interesting. Mike, you still here? If you are, this is what uh, Sanjay and I do every Tuesday. We build a deck live and then pilot it into the side of a mountain yeah occasionally oh i don't know if you know this dan but uh last week when you were away some some uh, console cowboys hacked your stream and uh were just putting up nonsense some like weird foundry uh sandstorm deck i don't even know yeah. um gotta check your settings was it a rude uh, stance a sandstorm uh it was, it was supposed to be rude but we we went like one and 
85 or something. I don't one know. In eight, one in 85, yeah. I don't know what our record was exactly. Um, also, I really bungled the sound setting, so I don't know how, how that affects. Ooh. Now we're talking. Look at this. All right. This was a weird hand. Uh, I think we mull that. Yeah. This that's, is worse. Yeah, it's way worse. It's fine. We can... I don't know what we do. Click for credits and put the turntable down? I guess we'll see what great new card we draw. That's fun. Oh, nice. All right, so we lose two cards. Two cards. You got to pay the toll. Ooh. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same relationship. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, huh. Interesting. Does that mean we should be like afraid of enforcers and? So let's draw. Let's hit that. <coughs> I like that. Let's get the table down. It'd be interesting to play. Um... Oh my god! If they click to put points on that, and then we turn table it, it for the empty one. That'd uh, be very. I'm I'm a rude, uh, I'm a rude dude. Yeah, the fact that they have domestic sleepers in their deck do, does make um, you turn table very spicier. No, no, no! I love it. Um... I mean, okay. Yeah, that's not so bad. They get our daily casts. Sure. Let all subroutines fire. Um, I have in my life been more wrecked by a Typhonium. <laughs> yeah. I have it within the last uh, 10 minutes. Very, very much so worse things have happened to me than that. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of that imp for now. Yeah. We can, we can pick it up on the second pass. Yeah, I like that. So we just have our... Um... Oh my god, yes. Ooh, ooh, I like it. I like what they're up to. It's like, like sort of resembling a like a Hydra plan in um, Cerebral Custom no, Cyber Cybernetics Division. I did it. You did it. You said the words. Yeah. Alright. Let's draw. Let's check archives. Yeah, let's just get some money so we can eat. And then let's do that. We've got money. That's something we've got. Yeah. Let's buy some soy beef tacos. What we need is more breakers in the trash, because I, I have a need to uh, knife this Tithonium. I mean, oh, I... man. I really wanted to take... Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah let's, just, let's just do that. And also get rid of the melange at the same time. While we're here. Yeah, while we're here. Get that shit out of here. Yeah. What remote? Yep. That was rude. We're, um, what happened we're to all rude our money? people. We're a part what of all our money. It's not all of our money. It's approximately half our money. Yeah. Oh, they, they made another server. Weird. They only, have, just, so, they only have so many Tithoniums. These guys just don't take a hint. Uh, well, Tithonium is like a minor inconvenience now. The thing we really need to be worried about now is Wainstar. Click through that. Yeah, definitely. Tears hand. Edge of world. Ooh, nice. Uh, no, you can you can have your garbage agenda. Yeah. Um. Uh, what if what if that was Tears hand though? That was it got us good. That came up on the stream this morning. I know. I saw that. And like. So a thing about Tears Hand is it's still pretty garbage, obviously, but like it's never been better now that there's these like cool um there's more 2.0 and 3.0 buy rights. Oh my uh, god, DDoS is here, just the card we wanted. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. If your name is a card of Yeah, one of my um one of my uh Smurf accounts is named after a Netrunner card. 
So it... Just getting some tokens in general. Yeah, yeah I like that. I, I like just, that. I'm just playing badly. That's what I do. Yeah. So we. So I would assume they're probably on um, black level clearance. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what that means in terms of how we should play against them. Um, I'm just saying this so that then when they res black level clearance, I feel smart. Um, even feel, though it's not even you that. You feel like, smog. Yeah, it's not even that impressive of a prediction, right? Like, um, let's go HQ. So I do think one thing about Cybernetics Division is that um, it puts a little bit of fear in your opponent. So it's like Ooh. kind of funny. Look at that. Oh, I said that was my. Oh, I'm so smart. Um, um, do we have any? Do we have any virtual resources? We can just I don't click think through so. this. We can click through it. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to trash. Yeah, let's click through it and trash all virtual resources. I'm so glad that they printed this card because Apex has just been wrecking my meta. Um, oh yeah, let's. Yeah, we can't have that. Yeah. Like. Uh, boo. Aw, we're gonna use those. All right, so let's just money. Let's have a money upturn. Yeah, we don't have a knife, so that enforcer is just gonna be a. Am I loans from Chiba? Oh, are you loans from Chiba, Dan? I I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, I think it's a somebody a, Smurf. No, um, my it's Smurf, also a, my my old Smurf was zero cool with a bunch of letters replaced with numbers, but then I realized that there was like four other people. Who had that so people thought that i was other people it was very weird um all right uh let's overwrite this with this and let's check r d love it do we maybe want to try to get an ice carver in this deck oh that'd be not bad oh okay i'll take that uh I love the idea that they have a brainstorm here and they're just like one credit away from resing it and they're just so, so sad. Self oh, cool. Oh, nice. Very nice choice, opponent. That card is rad. Um, also, you know, the cool combo with uh, self destruct and uh, metamorph. Um, I don't know how it works, but you can do some weird stuff. I feel like, do are we, we just going to not use stim hack because we're cowards against cybernetic position? I think that might be the right choice. Yeah. That just might pretend that just this pretend card like doesn't it's exist. not there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it wins games, but like, let's just be cowards, right? Like, let's just discard this stim hack. Yeah. We can save it for a turn that wins us the game. Yeah. I guess we probably should have discarded the turntable. Though they do have that enforcer there, so you know. Who knows? Oh no, our hand size is three now. Um, it's sort of tempting to go run the remote, and if that's uh black oval clearance, we can just destroy it. It's a like, self-destruct. While... No, no, no. The 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 upgrade. Yeah, it's a self-destruct. Oh, it is. We we saw one earlier. What else would it be? Yeah, but they they can't outtrace us. I mean. Yeah, you you might be right. You might be right. Do we want to? Eh, eh. Let's go. Let's. I want no, money. You're, you're I want right. their money. That's what I want. Yeah, you're right. We know the upgrade on HQ is not a self destruct, so that's fine. What is this? Noreen! Cool. We broke it. Good. Doesn't matter. That's a cool card. It lines up really badly against Black Orchestra. Hey, hello. No, that's fine. We're not getting any Amwaku counters because we keep trashing and stealing things. Yeah. We're also not able to use our turntable because we're getting our agendas in exactly the right way. Uh, discard the three cards. I guess we will get rid of... Uh, probably the showing off because, yeah, we could... There are, there are situations where we could lose our console. You don't think we should style on them? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
So we, uh, Thomas and I were running Voting Machine um, Initiative last week, and I cannot tell you how unimpressed I was with that agenda. Um, you have to be really crushing it to have that be working. All right. So. Let's run R&D. Yeah. They have no money. Actually, they don't even have money to... Oh, nice. I mean, the degree to which I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, uh, look, our hand size is four. Oh, yeah. That's great. Man, Anarch just feels so good. You know who I'm, I miss, Sanjay? Um, is it uh, G. Riley? Yes, it is. G. Ooh. G. G. Oh, we could have taken the... Ah, that would have been so good. So actually, that Titanium Res was very smart because they knew the Domestic Sleepers was on top. Um, and had they not sacked it, we could have taken it. Uh, it's Nyrene. Yeah, isn't that cool? They're playing Nyrene. It's a cool. It's a cool ice. Um, actually, it like has like pretty decent numbers against a lot of icebreakers. Um, it happens to have terrible numbers versus Black Orchestra. I feel like we should levy at the start of next turn. Yeah, I like that. Unless we get something in our hand that's like extraordinarily beautiful. We're not because uh, we have zero cards. Oh yeah, let's levy. Um, I don't hate the idea if. We don't have anything else to do on our turn of uh, running the remote while they're only on two credits. Um, yeah. So it costs it, six, right, it, to get in? It's expensive for us to get in. That's, yeah, Victor 2 is five strength. That's a lot of strength. That's, so a, I guess let's, that's a bad number for Blorchestra. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could have same old thing um, spoon for Victor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, destroy another remote. Now we can just normal knife it. Oh, well, what are they doing there? Come on, you have three credits. Well, we're not. We're gonna let them have that, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go boop boops, and then knife R and D. Yeah, we're gonna knife R and D. Like it. We pass the savings on to you. Yeah. The consumer. I really like the cutlery. They feel pretty fair. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you're paying, you're paying yeah. cash money. Um, Stephen um, Ball is in Stephen Ball is in the chat, so like we gotta up our game because he is actually good at math. So like, yeah, he's gonna be, we're gonna embarrass ourselves. Yeah, now we're now. Uh, so there's a Tithonium, a couple Tithoniums in there. Do we think there's any duplicates of anything else? Let's go check it and see if we've got any high quality, uh, Immolation script? For, in, for Immolation script. Do we have Immolation script in the bin or something? Yeah, we have it in the, ow, baller. Ooh. Uh, incidentally, uh, Incidentally, we ooh. just took two net damage. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Uh... Incidentally, um, Stephen Wall hosts a very nice podcast called The Source, and oh, you check it out. Oh, look. What, do you so, want to kill another thing? Oh, do you want to kill Noreen? Yeah, we just got to get MK Ultra in the bin. Or Philip or MU. Either one's fine. Yeah, that's super rude. You want to put down that daily cast? I like. Yeah. Yeah, this is a war of attrition, but I think they'll win. Yeah, they have no agenda scored. Yeah. And nine cards left in R and D. Oh, that's true too. I mean, who knows what they have over in their remotes? Like, I guess they could have some like Ronin or something. Uh Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's draw again. Alright. Paul, to please stop clawing my leg. I love you, man. Oh, yeah. It means we're um, two programs away from having a very good breaker versus. Uh... Actually, do we have a Cortex Lock yet? Or not a Cortex Lock, uh, MK Ultra? We don't, but hopefully we'll okay. soon. Um, Enforcer doesn't really do anything, it trashes the program. 
It does a lot of cool stuff. It trashes a program, it does a brain damage, it trashes a console, and it trashes all virtual resources. Isn't that neat? Is it good? I don't know. It's cool. It's very cool. Things are getting weird. Yeah. Um, maybe we should start pressuring centrals more. I don't know. Nice. So they don't have a lot of cards. Yeah, they have six cards in R&D and no kill threat on the board. So... Did we see an extra enforcer in there? Oh, see, that would be just too good. That'd be... Yeah, that'd be incredible. That'd be incredible for us. Because let me tell you, the numbers on Enforcer are, are very bad for MK Ultra. <laughs> Is it, uh, let's see, how much would it be for MK Ultra to break this? Uh, uh, three just to get up to strength. It, so it would be just nine. nine. Just nine. That's not real bad. It's, it's pretty terrible. All right, so they're trying to score some agendas. Yeah. Um, they can. Let's draw. Where the hell is MK? Like, did we lose it? I don't know. Uh, let's just get some money. They can, what, that could be like a show of force, I guess. But that can't kill us. Like, I think right now, I, I like the, the plan of just, uh, oh, keep the, that, because it's the breaker for, or no, no, keep, keep, keep our programs. But we could, yeah, I like it. Well, all there. All right, so that was an advanceable trap, probably. Uh, uh, you don't have time to to do advanceable trap while you you have four cards left in R and D and no agenda scored. All right, so I think what we do here is we fem this. Okay. Uh, we That's... get some money and then we make our All right. I like it. I mean, okay. One, two, three. All right, and now they're gonna black level clearance. No, they can't even run the black level clearance. Victor. There it is. Oh, okay. Nice. Wow. Nice. Okay, so I feel like we got a decent sense of what our opponent's deck was doing. Kind of cool. Uh, some just cool stuff. Uh, cool, scary stuff. Um, yeah, and this means I get to eat chocolate. Um, I'm going to have a heat bar. Sounds good. All right, let's find ourselves a new game in, in the meantime. So theoretically... Um, you can sort of do shenanigans on your opponent and play a Cybernetics Division deck that doesn't have any brain damage and just rely and just like sort of be rushy. Yeah. That's worth it, because they'll be on to you by the time, like by the time you're on four credit or a net point or something, they'll be like, I don't think you're actually trying to kill me. I'm like, yeah, I'm not. No, because because you obviously respect like brainstorm against cyber and you don't go pitching yourself into ice until you have a brainstorm solution. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Classic cybernetics no win condition deck. They might have had a um um unit of counter strike. That's a good mention. New Angela Soul. Ooh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I think we keep this. There's a lot of money in here. Yeah, I love money. Money. Um, it's fine if they're not, but I hope they're on a cool current. You know? Yeah. If they're not on a cool current, it's okay. It's fine. But I hope they're on, like, Paywall implementation or um, 
surveillance thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to shop around for an Anarch. I'm yeah. really kind of a toss up right now between me trying to like dive more into Max or trying to get more into Kim. I've been having a lot of success with Kim, but man, if he doesn't get off to a good start of being able to hit centrals, things get very strange. You know what I mean? Well, when you say Kim, what do you mean? Because, like, you know, if you say Max, I know what you're talking about. Um, to some I mean, extent. just like rag good stuff Kim that just like aims to land the hammer once a turn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like that card's a trap, so I feel like I'm just gonna get a do get a couple dollars. Yeah. Like... Oh no, not a trap. Okay. Hmm. I guess that doesn't tell us anything. Um. So they don't have a current yet, so they're basically could not be more miserable. Um. I've been I've been playing a lot of soul lately, and it just feels so bad when you don't have a current. Um. We get your whole. Whoa, cool. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it so we don't have to deal yeah. with it. Yeah. So, what does that tell us? So, probably they're on just some, like... Okay, so they're on, they're probably more traditional Soul Glacier. There's um, some hard hitting. Uh, let's get a dollar. Quick, single credit. Yeah, I love it. Um, and Soul Glacier on its own is pretty cool. So, like, I don't mean to disparage, um, you know... Soul decks playing in fourth curfew or um, targeted marketing. Those are fine decks. They're all good cards, Sanjay. I mean, Soul's just a delightful ID um, uh, from the perspective of, of a player who like, quite likes Soul. Um, I don't know if it's always delightful for, for uh, the opponents um, when you say my identity is scarcity of resources. Yeah. Um, that can be miserable. Yeah. Um, and also, I think a lot of soul decks have transitioned from being targeted marketing uh, decks to being scarcity of resources decks, which is, is like is just, even more terrifying. It, and it's just better in like literally every respect. Yeah, um, so, targeted marketing is harder to play. Um, that's certainly true. Yeah. Um, occasionally, you'll play decks who don't care about um, Charmer. Now, I think even though the um, Hacked this might get some, some cool trashes. It's probably worth it not to play it just so we don't power up Moontown. Is that right? Sure. Yeah. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Do we want to go check that? Or not check it, you know, go wreck it? I don't know. We don't have all three breakers. Yeah, that's true. What are they going to do? They're NBN. Give us a tag? Yeah. Res a Thoth? Ooh, Reds of Thoth. They should do that. That sounds great. Um, Thothing news. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you're in huh. that. Interesting. Well, what happened to all of both of our monies? I mean, our money's just fine. Yeah. Max is cool. I like Max a lot. She's just hard to play. Like, she's not easy. I don't know if I would still say this, but um, even though Anarch is not my favorite faction, I think there was a while where if she asked me who my favorite runner is, I would say Max. Um, just because getting a um, card turn just feels so good. Hey, buddy! Um, I guess they can trace us. Yeah. Oh, it just feels so bad when you don't have your current. This is miserable for them um i'm also just gonna pay through it oh of course yeah Th three bucks to not potentially give them a quantum predictive model oh absolutely the right choice yeah let's check uh, r&d i just want to see the fold of their money i want them to spend as much money as possible right I don't yeah know. let's make them sweat and think that we're gonna do apocalypse <laughs> Like, a, yeah, that. I like to do it just to freak people All out. Right. Yeah. Let's complete it. Yeah, uh -huh. hang on. Bruce Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the math works out such that if you're paying three, it's like always sort of worth it. Oh, uh, boo. Well, what about our money? Oh, that's fine, though, right? Because they didn't have enough time. We can just get our money back. 
because because that was annoying, but they weren't able to combine it into like a more powerful thing, you know. So yeah. like, doesn't matter. And we got a levy in hand, which is very good for our long term health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess another question is like, what are they planning on doing with those tags? Probably, probably kill us. Um, though not clear. Um, and Beyond certainly doesn't need to kill you to make the tags worth it. Yeah. Um. I remember I was playing uh, Apocalypse Steve, and um, you know I ran HQ with like a legwork, and I like ran R and D, and then I ran a archives with no face down cards, and literally the guy just typed into the chat, "Please no." Yeah. And I'm just um, like, that's how you know you have the good stuff. Like, all right, so what do are we doing run, here? Do you want to run R&D? Get a counter? It's probably the toll booth, but they probably won't res it. Well, they I think they installed the R&D ice before the toll booth was down. Yeah, well, also, if they res... Oh, well, they can res the toll booth. That's yeah, great. it's a toll booth. That's fine. Yeah, we're not even going to install Black Orchestra. That sounds great. Thank you for the toll booth. Yeah, thank you for that sweet toll booth res. Yeah. So now we'll get some money. And we'll go into archives. Also, we could spoon that toll booth pretty soon. Yep, that's the idea. Which I think sounds pretty rude. Pretty delightful, if you ask I mean, they're on, they're on one credit, so... So they uh, might just purge and say, screw you. Yeah, purging, like, it's nice for them to purge while they're on one credit because we could just, like, go get some more counters and then, like, do you want to purge again? <laughs> we're in this, like, weird limbo where they're just, like, getting flooded while nothing's happening and we're drawing cards. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay, great. Um, okay. So, first things first, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, because it's cool. Oh, we do we get to lose three, so that's good. Um, and then we should probably just money get up. money again, yeah, because we don't want to do too many shenanigans. So good, so good there. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little annoying to drag that card there, like it's weirdly like sticky. Um, yeah, things are going pretty good though. Yeah, um, things are going pretty good. We could even no, we don't have that's a entry even though it ends run so we can't uh we can waltz through r d or into hq pretty cheap right now um it's just one credit to do that they still have not landed a current my heart bleeds for them no this is terrible right their whole identity is current and they have none Yeah, yeah, we we probably missed our opportunity to get the most R and D accesses. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Did we have that leg work in, in hand the whole time? Yep. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, let's just take some credit. We're really bad at this game. Yeah. Is yeah, I guess leg work's like a decent card as far as like cards that help you access more cards in R and D or in HQ. It's like pretty good. Certainly, like one of its best uses. Uh, so, do we want to just money up and, or sh should we leg work first and like just take a turn off from maxing? Oh, we're gonna last click leg work. This is so spicy of you. I'm a very spicy boy. Like they could like red boost this so no, they're not. They're not. Yeah, they're not. No, they're not gonna vamp themselves to get a not single a tag. They're not as spicy as you. Yeah. That seems good. Yeah. Oh, no. The spicy. That's, that's uh, well, there was no joy in that except for this. I, um, there's no joy in that. We just last turned leg work, uh, didn't break an okay. ice, and got two agendas. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a fine, it's like a fine hot sauce. I have to eat this candy, but um, you know. Balder, get away from the intakes of my computer, man. Go. We didn't even get, we didn't even get to see their current. Maybe it's another ruse deck where they don't have any currents. 
Oh, that's deep. Mmm, it's delicious. I feel like, um, so one soul deck I've always wanted to build, and there's like no way it's good at all, is a defective brain chip soul. The only one influence, I think, defective brain chips. You have to import all your brain damage, but, um, it's theoretically buildable. Hey Blaine, what, were you playing the soul deck? Oh, I'm so I am so sorry you did not find a current. Um, were you on uh, scarcity or um, the list looked cool? Uh, all right, we got an opponent. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Ooh, this should be fun. This should be an interesting matchup. Um, I mean, I'm here assuming that... Um, yeah. That's a pretty good start. I'm assuming that our opponent is on uh, Architects of Tomorrow Glacier, which is not necessarily true. Um, I suppose you could play Architects of Tomorrow with any archetype. But pretty much Glacier, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, speaking of other um, good cards that we are good, th that we should maybe consider um, for uh, Max Vec is, seems like David is, like, decent. Oh, yeah, we can, like, cutlery into things. That seems hilarious. Um, yeah. I really like playing against Architects of Tomorrow. I really like playing Architects of Tomorrow. Um... I like being jammy. I like getting things for free. Um, I don't think it's... Yeah, like, it's not, like, at the top tier of competitive play, I don't think. Um, but it's a fun idea to mess around with. Um, plus, you sort of get to justify playing um, CFC Excavation Contract, which seems really fun for them. You know, you just get to, like, count a bunch of stuff and gain a bunch of credits. What are they doing? I don't know, but let's check HQ. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh. Uh, they can fire it. Yeah. Because then they get no trigger and we get to go everywhere else. Yeah. Uh, let's put down Hacktivist Meeting and then go into Server 1. Cause then we yeah, still there's... get the HQ accesses if they run if they res anything. Yeah, that that worked out pretty nicely. Trash that, thank you. Let's go into R and D. Got really nicely. All right, I feel good about how that went. Yeah. Uh, makers are not going to be happy about this. Did you just... What, make an Eli 1.0 reference? Yeah. Well, yeah. We don't have that Eli. We have goth Eli. What's Eli's flavor text now? A new game means new rules. And he's like... Aww. Building, uh, like, triangles instead of full of cubes. No, no, those, those are... Uh, yeah, those are cards. He's playing cards instead of blocks. He's, oh, he's, cute. He's a, he's a big boy now. Well, he's a big front man for a, like, synth metal band. I wish I was that cool when I was 15. Or how old? I mean, Eli's how old? Like, five? Who knows, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Alright, um, we can do weird stuff here. Uh, we can just drop the turning wheel and go into R&D, see what's there. Yeah. The world is our weird oyster. So I know that, um, when you're up against... Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's Fairchild 2. We're fine. <laughs> okay, should we just break it? 
Uh, I'm just gonna click through it and then spend two bucks. Yeah, I like that. Because it's pretty nightmarish to break with Black Orchestra. Ooh, they get to res a thing. Cool. They earned it. They did. And then we'll but... just we'll just knife it later. So Just one maybe. interesting, yeah, one interesting thing with Architects of Tomorrow is that um, it sort of, when you're playing against Architects of Tomorrow, you make very predictable um, ice run decisions. Um, um, and I don't know how to take advantage of that if you're an uh, Architects of Tomorrow player. Um, I feel like it's not immediately but like there should be right like because you can sort of like you know they're running on the like unres ice um tastes good i know a lot of people have, or i know some architects of tomorrow players really enjoy splashing architect the card Ooh, huh good thing I would assume they didn't have any agendas in HQ if they did that, but I don't even know. That's wild. So they didn't res the um, ice on the remote with the, when we passed um, when we passed the Fairchild two, and I can't even I can't imagine what that even means. Uh, we could probably just run the let's remote. Check our, let's check archives. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, is that Zed? Hey, hey, hey. I just want the monies. That's all I want. Actually, what am I doing? I should have pitched fam. Yeah, I agree. Um... If you're if you're architects of tomorrow, like why are you not on uh the best biroid? Yeah, I guess it's tough, right? Um Alright, so let's get while the getting's good. Um Let's spoon R and D. Rude. Cause then they don't get their trigger, correct? Cause uh, our correct. thing happens when they break. Yeah, and we don't pass, yeah, true. But it will trigger later. Um, so if we pass another ice, it will trigger. But we're not going to this turn. Um, Yeah, so in that case, we're not passing because um, the, the ice is destroyed as soon as we break all the subs. And so um, the encounter ends, but we don't pass the ice because uh, the encounter is over, I believe. Correct. Um, that's an interesting point, Stephen Ball, that uh, I think I do think Architects of Tomorrow is in like a weird position because obviously they... they if they want to play Fairchild 3, they can just play it like the upgrades, which is pretty solid. But it's not really, like, particularly a good um, Glacier um, agenda. Um, but maybe uh, Iqua Project, if you um, if you all have seen the spoilers for that, um, could be a good... Oh, no. So, again, the ability doesn't fire. Yeah, poor Eli. Oh, they have another one. Good. Yep, and if they put that down and res it, we can emulation script it. Now, what's the wording on uh, knifed? Oh, no. Never mind. Um... I will force you... I will force you to purge every turn. That is my job. Yeah. They can't purge. Ooh, I love that agenda. Yeah, I think the main... 
I think that for me personally, I would think the main thing that appeals to me about uh, Architects of Tomorrow is just not even winning the game, but just like scoring a CFC <laughs> excavation contract and like gaining well. Right, let's, go in, let's go in HQ. Love it. And then we are going to emulate that script. Oh no, 41. Tastes good. Uh oh. That's fair. That's fair. We're being very ice destruction today. Feels good. Yeah. Let's just keep hammering. Always be hammering. You don't want to kill that Eli too? No, we'll let them have one use of their ability when they already have thirteen dollars. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but we should like kill it just for because it's funny, right? Yeah, I mean we'll totally also do that. Yeah. See, look, Eli has a great eyes. That costs us one more. Let's not use those. They're, they don't have any jobs. They, they double drew. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah. Okay, fine. We found something useful in there. That's fine. We, we're we not we're not oppressing them yet. They, ha they have to be completely oppressed. Ooh, if we levy and they uh, preemptive action, we can kill even more Eli's. That's true. Let's see Okay. Um, I would say probably the... What do you think the most... I think... Or right, what's going on? Um, that what you said was not actually words. Yeah. What What are we doing right now? I guess we can check stuff. I don't know. Let's check R and D first. Yeah. Let's see if we can get an ice res. Yeah. The fact that we have five turtle counters does make everything safer. Ooh. That's Ravana. Yeah. The antagonist of the Mahabharat. No, not the matter about the Ramayana. The, um, Ramayan. All right, cool so character. We, I guess the question is, do we think that's an agenda? Or, um, or do we even care if it is? We don't care, really. Um, like, what could it could it be a Vitruvius? They're welcome to have that. Um, Things are going pretty okay. Yeah, I'm... Eyeing the third priest of Candy, we have. I think I'm going to get it. Best defense. Oh no. Oh no. That was a nice little uh, two credit vamp we just got. Alright, uh, let's lobby. Um... Alright. Ooh, money. Yeah, we're, I guess. Theoretically, we're not in any rush. We can just keep on looking at the top of our... Of, uh... There it is. Good game. Hey! Nice. Yeah, I think there's some fun things. To, one fun thing with Architects of Tomorrow is that you have 12 influence that you don't really need. So that's always fun. You can do whatever you want with it. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know, like, can you, like patch up their glaring weaknesses with uh, 12 and 20? Maybe? I don't think you can. Like, you can make the, be the best, like, Architects decks I ever made have, n like, no other cards in them. Because yeah, it's cause... actually hard to, like, have enough slots to use all of your influence on cards that actually matter. That's why yeah, a lot most... of times I ended up just playing three celebrity gifts for yeah, the most, most spicy, The most spicy uh, splash card in Architects of Tomorrow is probably Architect, and that doesn't cost any influence. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah, true.
Probably the most powerful card, the most powerful strategy Architects of Tomorrow can leverage better than anyone else is like Ash stuff. Like, because they get the resin for free and they get, they can maybe theoretically have a bunch of money. I don't know. I do know it's a very fun ID to play because you get, you get a lot of free stuff. And, uh, the thing, the thing about it is the key to, um, a runner's heart is unexpected gifts at unexpected times. Um, and Architects of Tomorrow gives you those. Key to a corporation's heart, too. Yeah. Just waiting on an opponent. There we go. Uh, I think this is pretty okay. Nice. Especially with the uh, turning wheel, not turning wheel, turntable as an opening console against Titan. That's yeah, I like, that. like, I will trade a hostile for an Atlas any old day of the week. Oh, that was the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Oh, right. I should probably put the, the deck list in the show notes, right? That's like a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not putting the list of candy I'm eating in the show notes. Um, while you're working on that, let me read from Monitor. Okay. Um, okay, we're done. All right. All right. <laughs> Ooh, look at all this economy we have. I suppose if they install an agenda and try and rush behind it, we could put down the... Um, Black Orchestra and guess that it's an Enigma or a Hordum. That'd be a, like a rude thing to do. Um, I kind of like doing that. And if it is a Code Gate, they're like, how do they know? Oh, it's Firewall. That's fine. Um, Let's get while the getting's good. Yeah. Very reminiscent of our last game, huh? Yep. Last game against... Ooh, I okay, so now they have no money with, yeah, with which to advance that. that. So we're going to have another turn to get it? Yep. So maybe just draw for our last turn to try it. Try and get Clippy? Yeah. Chiashi. Oh, and look, there's Clippy. All right, we got it. Oops. Oh, that's so awkward because... Oh, man. So do we have the money, though, to get in? I think we do. Yeah, because we've got this liberated. two libs. Yeah. Two lib hits. What Ooh. is that? Ooh. All right, screw it. If it's a baddie, they can end the run with baddie. That's fine. <laughs> Fortune favors the pretty dumb. It's probably a prize sec, to be honest. That's fine, too. Oh, it's an ash. That's also fine. Do we want to... I guess it depends on what the trace is. What we do here. Okay, so we That's can't... fine. So they can actually score this out, though. Now that there's two agenda... There's two advancement. They there. spent a lot on that. Yeah. A lot more than we did. That's yeah, that's, sure. so, um, and our econ took a bit of a hit there, so, um, we should be able to bounce back pretty okay. I guess we put down the daily cast, and then next turn we liberate some accounts. Yeah, we've flipped some money cards that I'd rather not... Yeah. ...have lost. Um... Yes, yeah, so now we're just in a race, I guess, to, um... Kill them. I agree. Fine. Yeah, to get them before they get us. Yeah, we're doing okay. So, um, yeah. we're going to start hitting HQ with Imp in a second here. Now yeah, that it is, yeah, that's great. That's going to be great. It is always nice when you're um, Titan and you can get a few points outside of the Atlas, Atlas, Atlas hostile takeover plan because then it just makes it all a little bit all right, so run, run we, a little ha bit. we have to check that. We can't, Absolutely. we can't suffer Atlases. Yeah, it's so cheeky if it's an Atlas, but I think you're right. 
Ooh. Okay, so I'm of... actually going to leave that there. Oh, definitely. I'm going to put that down. Yeah. Put that down. Amazing. And let's check R&D. Love it. So far, we've only seen barriers. Yeah. And another barrier. Huh. Well, glad we have this paper clip. They may be on some sort of kill plan, since um, their barriers are pretty um, uh, sticky. You know, like yeah. dense. So they may be trying to do a you know a tax money out plan. Yeah, because they're on Ash, which is actually a, a atypical um, include for Titan. So we maybe should have even like you know process that when we saw it like oh surprising because it is actually a bit surprising to see um ash in titan and that's a cool include um i mean okay oh man i'm i'm loving what they're up to so what are they up to um armored servers getting their butts kicked by us yeah that's true That was a really smart way to play around him. What, just feed us two agendas? Yeah, not a conversion. We didn't get any value out of that imp. Amazing. Amazing. So we have a bunch of money cards in the trash, you said? Yeah. That seems okay. to be the way things want to go for us. Well, we have the best money card, which is the basic actions uh, card. Click, 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 click. All right, um, Fem's in the bin. Cool. That's a nice money card too. Let's draw. Oh, just Are there any ice in the trash? No. Nah. Um. Is there a knife in there? There is a knife in there. Um, but we're not holding a levy yet. Um. That stinks. Okay. Um. Things are getting real weird around these parts. Yeah. Let's see, what am I doing? Let's pitch the one that we don't have. Hard, show me that hard hitting news. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to save this same old thing. Okay, so that's exactly what I wanted, so now we're just gonna mine uh oh, yeah? counters. Yeah. I think it might be good to just get some money more than turning well counters. Sure. Uh, yeah, hard to hard to say. It's a little tough. It's a little close. Cause certainly just hitting a bunch of uh agendas or getting a bunch of accesses on R and D is a good way to close out the game, but like yeah, I don't know. Wow. Okay. The money is not with us. No. <coughs> yeah, now they're in a situation where um, they probably have a scoring window, um, depending on what the ice they have on their remote is. So that's interesting. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, cool. I don't want to know. All right. So that's all the money we're going to get before we left. Yeah. I suppose theoretically we could just, like... Do we know what's in server one? Uh, yeah, it's um, a public support that they don't want to raise. Oh, right, 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 right. So we could... A thing we could do is we could just click for credits and, like, play... Okay, um, so they overwrote that with something else. Yeah, because this stim hack is going to be good for pretending like we can... So what do we want to do? Ugh. Um, do you think it's worth stim hacking into server one? Because I could see them thinking they have a scoring window here, right? I mean, let's do it. Yeah.
Wowza. All right, so they definitely thought they had a scoring window here. Whether they took it, I don't know. Edge of world. Oh, that's good. So. Nice. Stamhack, pretty good. Stamhack, good card. Yeah. Um, nice. I'm out of candy. This deck is surprisingly flexible. Yeah, it's also, yeah, it's surprisingly good considering we just threw it together and we don't know what we're doing. Um... <laughs> Oh, good. Ooh. Well, I guess if they have making news, we're just going to go hard at them and see what happens. Hope for the best. There it is. Yay. Yay. Um... Let's probably pay into it. And then we can dirty laundry R and D or HQ. Yeah. Love it. Get that hey. shit. get that shit out of here. Um Gain some credits. I don't yeah. think we should bottom out. Yeah. I just want to have a ton of money. That's what yeah. I want. That's absolutely what we want in this matchup. Having infinite money. Not that we have. We're going to have infinite money. Invalidate store to door. That was nice of us to one uh, to to one shot that uh, Hades fragment. That was very good play on our part. We're very good at this game. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about reducing the stress level of our opponents. Let's see everything in HQ. I yeah, see love it. Wow, cool. So are they on like some all unique agendas uh, build here? Maybe. That's cool. Oh, cool. Deal? I guess so. No, it's the AR. Uh, nice. Alright, so we've lost two same old things. That's scary. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, let's yeah. check R&D. Probably not worth um, desperation trying to find a levy yet in terms of drawing up, right? Yeah, I mean, I drew a couple because we have three conspiracy breakers. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. I don't care about trashing anything against this deck. That's primary transmission dish. That's weird. That's not how we're winning like any of this. Yeah. I would like to get a turning wheel down sooner rather than later. Yeah. So it's significant that they have enough money to res macrophage. Oh, I thank God. I wouldn't absolutely hate trashing um, the um, Arabatha tech. We can trash Fem, so then we can um, uh, retrieve around it. Yep. Look at all this fine, um, fine cutlery we have. Yeah. Because Macrophage is probably the only ice we fear from, out of, for them. Yeah. Uh, even even IP block isn't much of a concern for us. We no. just we just kill it the turn that we see it. All right. So let's put well let's gamble surely. Let's put that down and then let's run HQ. Love it. That's hilarious. Punk rock. That'd be pretty great for them if it was a burning smile, but it's not. Hacktivist is such a good current. Yeah, it really is. A little annoying in terms of its design, just because I feel like people keep forgetting that it's an additional cost, not a. Um, it's an old penalty. Hollywood grid. Oh yeah, sure it is. Um, that's fine. They stop some access. Oh no, no, no let's not do that. 
Because if that's a macrophage, we get wrecked. I guess we can pay into the trade. Well, they're not enthusiastically rezzing it, so it's probably not a macrophage. Well, I like a resistor. Oh, that's fine. Wow. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah, I have a, a bit of a sore spot for this type of deck. Like, one of my things that I get a little frustrated with sometimes on Jaina that I should be better about is when door-to-door -door players complain about not seeing door-to-door -door yeah. all game, and I'm like, well, if only your deck had another win condition besides a single card. The other thing about door-to-door -door, um, decks that is a little rough is that... Um... Why would they res that? They're gonna... Oh, oh, cool. Is that going to be enough, though? I guess they're spending fake credits weren't spending real credits. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, neat. All right. Well, that's fine. Oh and, they, oh, and they get to take one from us. That's funny. Okay, well, let's just de tag, I guess. Yep. One thing that I don't love about this matchup is that I feel like um, sometimes when you shut down their plan, like, they're in prison and, like, you didn't put them there, right? They're just, their just, deck doesn't work. Right. And that feels but, but bad. But they did that. I did Yeah, that. right, right, right. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, I like taking my opponent's head sometimes and just, like, holding it underwater until they stop moving. Um, that's a little too, more graphic than I actually wanted to be um, with this light metaphor. But, um, like, I think it's, it's like, I, under, I understand the appeal. It's pretty cool to just be like really oppressive um yeah. and door to door does that really nicely um so yeah i, I mean i get it i'm guessing well, based could... on this long pause that there may be an agenda in there yeah long pause isn't gonna do anything though oh no okay all right we should maybe take a credit so they can't uh hard hitting stick us with a tag um if we have the money i don't hate retrieval running that Toll booth or the turnpike? You mean femming it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ret running it uh, with a fem. Not terrible. It's not great. But get through for one instead of. Well, right now we're getting through for two, so not that big. Of a thing. Hey, and now we can break uh, macrophage with turtle, which is pretty nice. We need more money. Uh, yeah. Let's make our eye. We should, we should clear off the old Hollywood grid before we make his eye. Yeah, but then we're going to have an AR tag. So we're going to have yeah. some money up for a little while. Yeah, but I think we probably should, right? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe um, we should just make them res something with oh, I'm just with worried about the door-to-door -door coming back down. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, we can save Maker's Eye for when they play door-to-door. -door. We can say, okay, that's fine. Let's go get them to do that. That's my only concern, right? Yeah. No, you're right. Um, I don't know. It's a tough call. Well, conver conversely, we can always try to run that remote, see if we get some ice reses. And if we do, then they might not be able to res old Hollywood Grid. That's true. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. We can say molting the hacktivists, but there's both levies in the bin, so we actually can't. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, it's mildly taxing, but this is not the way the relationship between Amakua and Macrophage is supposed to go. If this is a Cyberdex... Okay. <laughs> we, we get it. You're so, really... now they can, so now they can't of Old Hollywood Grid, so we could run right. into them. We make yeah. ourselves... A we're, oh, gonna go ahead. we're gonna make our side because they can't res old Hollywood grid. Yeah, we make ourselves a little vulnerable to um, um, hard hitting news here. 
Where the heck are the agendas in this deck? I guess they gotta be in HQ, right? I guess so, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of... Well, that's bad. I mean, we might just be in tag hell now, but like, where the hell is the stuff? Like... Oh, I mean, there's twenty. There's like twenty-four cards there right, in R and D. Thirty-four. Thirty-four? Yeah, and they're. It looks like they're playing a bunch of three, five threes. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We have same old thing too, so we can like just get rid of our door right away if we're annoyed by it. That's pretty cool. All right, so we might just lose here. Yeah. I was out of candy anyway. Um, let's go R and D. Let's just fire it. Nice. Cool. cool. Private security force. I love it. This doesn't do anything. So we are giving them a credit every time we um, run through a trace because of our boss attack. So that's something to be mindful of. Yeah, I know, but like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's fine. It's or... it's it's all good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I like that, because now we can, if they don't trash the same old thing, we can, um, and they don't trash us, we can, uh, um, same old thing for making, or for Maker's Eye, which is, would not be bad. Yep. The only tough thing is that they might put themselves in a position where they can res, um, Old Hollywood Grid, which is going to make Maker's Eye a little bit less exciting. Uh, they probably have two more um, private security forces in their deck. Um, so it's actually going to it's interestingly, it's going to be weirdly hard to get through that um, server um, with the number of credits we have. Okay. I think we can just win here with the play that you just described. We could, yeah. Um, so yeah, we just gain a credit. And importantly, we only give them one credit, so they still can... They still cannot res um, old Hollywood grid. Yep. Now we might just see like unique five threes. They probably have like, you know, weird fragments and stuff, maybe a puppy puppet master. Oh hey Molly Chris. Um, hey. One. Two. Three. Um let's go over here. <laughs> yeah, why not? You never know. Yeah. Um, we are very rapidly running out of steam, however. Oh, yeah, we sure are. So we saw three cards. They've drawn one of them, right? Yep. So I think the thing to do now is to... They are on zero credit, so we could... I think that the only out we have is to just run HQ and get turning wheel counters. Um, and But not give them so many credits that we... Um, 
they can res old Hollywood grid. Well, what's this that they just advanced three times? A beal? We can't. Get, well, we can't get in there. Why not? Because of resistor. Uh, we have a thirteen strength on Makua. Well, we can't get past macrophage. Right. We without... can we can take one turn and get money. Yeah, that's true. No, like I. I... Uh... No, I, I mean, I get, I get, yeah, let's just go HQ, you're right. I mean, I, yeah, because I feel like, um... No, no, I'm, I'm with you, I get it. Yeah. I'm with you now. Also, I think we saw closed accounts off the top of the deck, so... Yep. Oh, there it is. So... so I think we can run two more times, and they'll only have three credits. Or old Hollywood grid is how much the um... five. It's expensive because it's a powerful yeah. attack. Yeah. Less powerful now that we have three cool agendas in our cool score area. You know what has really not been on display during this game? The power of old Hollywood grid. Come on, you gotta let us in. All right, let's just uh, check out R&D, see what's going on. And we get to see three cards, three fresh cards, I think. I don't know if they're all fresh, but... And make sure to click that before... Yeah, nice. We knew that one. Oh, two fresh cards. That's not... All right, all right, all right. Well, that's bad. So they should absolutely take um, the time to trash our uh, turning wheel. So it's on them to also to um, win this game uh, before they're only on one point. So if they don't have any like way to flatline us, we're in like quasi okay shape. We know we haven't seen any. Huh. Okay, are they just gonna slow roll a beal? Here, I'm just gonna take money. Yeah, I love that. Um, because if they're just gonna slow roll a beal, I'll go get. I'll force the res at least. <coughs> well, if if they actually if they don't, um, oh no, because that's a beal they can res old Hollywood grid. Um, and that'll keep us out. Um, but if there is a Hollywood grid, that hits them economically. Because we could take... Because um, we need five credits to get into that server. Oh, there go the credits. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're back in business with the stupid um, plan we were doing before. Let's just do that then. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're only going to get to do it once. One. Yeah, so just see two cards. Will we be seeing any fresh cards? I think we're seeing one fresh card, right? Yeah, because we took a turn off. Yeah, and we have to we have to go now, because if we... No, actually, they will be able to res a little bit good now. I don't think they're going to, though, right? That's probably true. I mean, regardless, that is, that is our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, even if they res old Hollywood grid, we can still get them with uh, stealing a PSF or a, um, oh, make sure to, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget sometimes. All right, I think this is a fresh card. That's not fresh enough. All right, let's just get a credit. I mean. Oh, I guess getting a credit is a little silly because we're going to lose it again. So I guess they don't actually have to um, 
I mean, they're just gonna they're just gonna slow roll a BL. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Pretty funny. How much is our about to tech to trash? Three. Three. Okay. Ooh. Are they gonna fast roll you? No, they're gonna remove two of our clicks. Nice. They don't have any money now. That's good. Cause if we trash our about to tech, then we can get through um Oh nice. we can get Oh, cool. Oh, so they kill us, right? Oh no, because we have our ability. We're max. So we'll draw one card. Yeah! Look at that max ability keeping us alive. So actually, they just shuffled their deck, right? Yep, I believe so. So we can, we can get a bunch of fresh accesses. This is cool. So let's go HQ. Yeah, let's go at HQ three times in R and D. Uh, Cause does do they draw cards with? Um... Actually, I guess we could just go R and D now. Yeah. What an interesting game we are having. Yeah. I hope we win. <laughs> That's funny. We see <laughs> not one, but That's two. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I love it. Um... Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess they don't know that what what we saw, right? No, they look just looked at it. Oh, nice. Well played. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really funny. <laughs> All right. I still think our, uh, old, old Hollywood Grid was pretty garbage there. Um. <laughs> All right, so we've got the uh, the patrons list up here to close out the episode. Everyone, as always, thank you for joining us and watching uh, Sanjay and I uh, build and make some 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 interesting deck choices. Uh, thanks thanks for being here, man. It's always great to, yeah, to have you yeah. with me. This is a fun episode. That was a fun way to close it, even though we got um, re-educated and murdered. Yeah, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Uh, Sanjay Gamgee at the end of the door to door grind out deck. Aww. Aww. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, just really quickly, everybody. Um, the channel would not exist in its current form without all of these fine humans, uh, up and to the left of me. Yeah. Um, if you like what we're doing and you want to continue helping me expand the channel's uh, capabilities for tournaments and other content please consider either giving a one-time donation or becoming a patron. And if not, then just continue to be a rad viewer and tell people about the show. That's also very helpful. Do you have anything you want to say, Sanjay? Um, I've been playing uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle with my wife, and it's been delightful. All right. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, I played uh, Alien Artifacts yesterday, and that was delightful. Oh, did you? Um, nice. Um, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Yeah. So, everyone, thank you very much uh, for watching. And until we see all of you fine Netrunner humans again, always be running. Bye.